G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here and tonight we are taking some star trail shots with the GoPro Hero 10. Yeah, I know. Is it possible? Is it actually possible? Because you can't do burst shots on this, so we've got to find out a way of doing consecutive 30 second, second shutter bursts without touching the camera to move it. Um, the, the challenge is afoot. So stick around and see if it's possible. Now I'm out on the spit. This is a sequel to a previous video about how you shoot Astro on this. And so if you've missed that video, head back to it now, check it out. It talks about the settings and some of the things that we need to do. There's the, the little uh, tag and there'll be a thing at the end for you to head back to that and then you can come back over to here. Um, and so we're gonna see if this can do something quite remarkable by shooting down the end of what's called the rock wall at the end of the spit on the Gold Coast and there's a little a lighthouse with a bunch of drunk people around it which is really exciting for me really thrilled about that when they come back through oh gosh and we are gonna um, we're gonna make this this work so we're gonna use the settings minimum ISO of 1600 a maximum ISO of 800 we're gonna turn up the sharpness we're gonna put the shutter at 30 seconds if you don't have the shutter at 30 seconds it won't give you the minimum ISO opportunity to go up to 1600 all the other uh, elements of the camera are just gonna be as is you shoot on night mode and I'm gonna put it on a tripod and then well that's when it gets real fun so it dawned on me when I was thinking about this idea of shooting some star trails that the, the stars actually move just a fraction. And so astrophotographers will tell you that when you're shooting star trails a minimum of 40 minutes is required. So for this experiment I'm going to commit 40 minutes to it. But you need to keep pressing the button and there's no way to burst the button to have the button keep replaying, keep playing. Um, and I thought if I keep pressing the button, as you know with the GoPro, when you press the button it's quite a, a violent, it's quite a violent act and you're pushing it down and pushing it down and you, you bump the camera, it doesn't work. So the camera has to stay perfectly still and then it dawned on me. The app. GoPro have this app that you can connect to your camera, it connects a little bit like this. Once you're connected, you can't actually um, do much with the app except you can control the shutter. And so I can control the shutter from here for 30 seconds. And then when it's up, I can press the shutter again. And yes, that's right, you've just worked it out. I have to do 80 consecutive presses of the button for a 40 minute time lapse for you guys to see if this whole thing's gonna work. And then we're gonna take it home. Uh, I'm not gonna edit it here. <laughs> it's just too, oh, it freaks me out too much. We're gonna go home, gonna edit it up and see if we can come up with a star trail shot. Now normally what I would do is use photo pills and when you use photo pills it shows you where the center of the star solar system is and you can uh, configure and compose your shot around that. Today I'm just going to shoot whatever it is that my composition is the leading lines to the little lighthouse at the end of the spit. And so it will be what it will be but what we're looking for is whether we can get those star trails happening across the sky because if we can that's pretty neat right it's pretty cool that you can shoot star trails with this little fella that you should really stick in your helmet and go dirt bike riding with not take out astro shooting and so for some of you this is just a, a, a fun experiment for some of you it might push that creative bounds into wow what is actually possible and what could I do with it um, it has a 30 second shutter so you can do a number of really cool things which we might get into in later videos but until then until then let's give it a go shall we and I'm, I'm gonna spare you I'm not going to let you um, sit through all 40 minutes of it. I'm just going to, well, I'll be back in a second. I'll tell you how it went. creative crew 120 presses of the button later yes I stuck it out for one hour for you guys oh gosh I hope it's come up good we got there we got now there's some interesting things that I want to tell you before I go and edit um, and that is first of all that there's a delay between the end of the shutter finishing and your ability to press go that's because the camera stops and then it sends a Wi-Fi transmission to your phone that tells you oh now you can go again and you press the button and then it sends that message back that means in our star trails there's gonna be tiny little gaps 
nothing we can do about that. Perhaps in editing there's a few tricks we can play on it, but that's part of the way it is. Now also this is my, uh, my setup and as you'll see on this shot, there's a countdown timer on the back of the camera which is super handy because if you're sort of drifting off, you're like, oh where am I at? Okay, three, two, one and go on the app again. So there's this countdown timer that's really, really helpful. Also, my setup here, I don't know if you can see it, but I've, um, I've attached a battery because I didn't want the battery on the GoPro, which uh, potentially could have ran out to, um, to run out. So what I do is I get my cable and I've just tied a figure eight knot, hung it here, is very low wind, so there's not a chance of it swinging around or smashing anything. And it just, uh, it just hangs out here and what happens is it, it charges and then turns off and charges and then turns off but as a result my battery is a hundred percent on the GoPro and it's raring to go. Heat wise it's a tiny bit warm but but it's it's really completely fine it's it's absolutely nothing I would expect that of, of most cameras in fact it's not even hot in the slightest and then you just gotta have your trigger finger ready with the app when that preview comes up, I turn the preview screen, because there's a preview screen on the app which you can turn on to see what it can see and obviously it's a set shot so it doesn't matter, you don't need to see anything once it's set up and it's too dark, you can't see anything anyway and so I turn the preview off so that it has more power and processing ability focused in on what I really want it to do which isn't preview but it is send a message from my app to the, the camera. Now I'm going to go home and I'm going to edit up these images the same way I edit up all Astro Star Trail images. There'll be a video at the end if you're wondering how I do that. It'll just walk you through all of that. So I'm not going to walk you through all of that. I will fix the horizon because on a GoPro photo the horizon is like this. Uh, it curves because it's so wide it has this fisheye effect so I'm going to fix that in post but thanks so much for watching you're about to see the image that we've hung out for a couple of hours tonight to try and uh, and get I hope it's worth your while thanks so much for being part of this please join the channel please like this video if you think 120 presses is worth a like well come on I do <laughs> go on hit it go on and uh, please subscribe I'll see you in the next video thanks everybody enjoy